Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Coleman Light 1705 RB. This is a nice couples model, it's lightweight, it's under 3,500 pounds. You have a Murphy bed, huge rear bath with great storage, and a campside dinette. So let's start right over here. One of the things I like about having a campside dinette like this, and the main reason I like it, is the fact that you get a view to your campsite. And this is what you want to look at. You want to look out the window, see your campsite when you're eating your breakfast, drinking your morning coffee. You don't want to stare out at your neighbors. You'll notice there's plenty of room here for four people, and this table also drops down into a bed for some additional sleeping space. You have a couple lights right up top here to help brighten things up at night, and an electrical outlet underneath in case you have to plug anything in. Right up above is your multimedia center, which controls the speakers both inside and outside. That unit is Bluetooth capable as well. And then right up top here, you'll see they put a backer there so you know exactly where to mount your TV with the corresponding connections right up top. If you take a look over to the side, you'll see all your controls are right over here. Your tank monitoring panel, your awning is there as well, water heater, pump, and then your lights. Right across the top, you have additional storage. I'll open that up for you here. So good storage going across the top there, which is nice. And then right here on the back wall is your thermostat for your heater. If you take a look up top real quick, this one also has an AC. It's a roof mounted AC, 13.5 kBTU. In a camper that's this size, folks, it'll keep it nice and cool in here even on the hottest of days. Right back here is the bathroom. As I said, this is a rear bath. Come on back and take a look. If you, you know, want a big bathroom, you need a lot of bathroom space, maybe, you know, you prefer to get dressed back here, there is certainly plenty of room. Mirrored medicine cabinet right up top here. You see your sink top right underneath, electrical outlet there. You also have storage underneath. And take a look right next to that, folks. You have two large drawers here. So plenty of drawer space, which is awesome. And up top, you have this massive uh, wardrobe going all the way across. You can see the hanging rod up there, so it's perfect for hanging clothes. And I'm telling you, that's great extra wardrobe space to have. If you take a look across the way right over here, this unit also has a tub shower. I'll stand in here, I'm six foot, you see I can clear it, but if you're much taller, you may have to bend down a little bit there, but you also have a hand wand here, and then your shower curtain, of course, to close off. When you're done with your shower, you'll see right up top, you have your vent fan there to quickly help moisture escape. On the off door side is the kitchen. We'll open up the Norcold fridge freezer combo here. You can see you have plenty of space there. Uh, this unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. And then right up top here is the microwave with the hood underneath that does have a light and fan there. And take a quick look at the countertops. Folks, I love these countertops. These are thermoformed. It's way better than your standard T-mold that you see in most RVs that are this size. Now they do have the vertical cooktop here, but they gave you the double uh, bowl sink, which I'm really glad they did this. A lot of times it just give you the single. It makes it way easier to wash and rinse dishes here. And because it is a thermoformed countertop, they're able to undermount the sink, which gives you a very clean look. You see you have high rise faucet there too, and then a window behind to let in some natural light as well as a LED light right here. Uh, much like above the dinette there is an electrical outlet there as well so you have a place to plug in some of those electronics. We take a look up top here you see there's good pantry storage right up top and then you also have a suite of storage here underneath. You have two full extension ball bearing drawers. You know, in any functional kitchen or an RV, in my opinion, they have to have two drawers, one for your silverware, then the other for some of your larger utensils like your knives, spatulas, spoons, things like that. And then you'll see right here, you have some additional storage underneath the sink. In the front of the 1705 is the Murphy bed. Oftentimes, this is either a make it or break it for people. You tend to love it or hate it. Now I'm gonna kind of walk you through, show it how nice and easy it is to set up. Uh, I myself, I love Murphy beds, I'm a big fan. The only time you ever see them is in a smaller RV, and the reason is it gives you additional seating space in where you normally couldn't get it. Sure, you could have a bed here, but it'd be a lot more cramped in this space, and it, you don't have a sofa to sit on. So this way you can sit, you can have more people in here, and again, it takes a minute or two to set up and tear down, but it is fairly quick. 
So we'll start off right here. You see you have a jackknife sofa. Uh, the cool thing I like about this jackknife, you'll see it has armrests on either side, which is kind of nice. Gives you a spot to put your arms. I hate just kind of having dead space. And even in the center, you have another drop down armrest right there. You'll also see there's a couple of cup holders in there. Now, some people say, well, if you have a Murphy bed, you lose storage space, and that's not true either. You can see right under here underneath the jackknife sofa, you have all that extra storage space under there, so just as much as you would get in your standard queen. To make this into a bed, what you'll do, you'll see these armrests actually come out. So this is just Velcro, you, vel you unvelcro this, take the cushion, you can just set that to the side. You'll do that on both sides here. You will then drop the jackknife sofa down, just like so. You'll have two locks here. You'll undo that on both sides. I'll do the same to this side here. Then you simply take this like so, and it just drops right down. You'll see then you have your mattress right here. We can pull this guy out, kind of form it down just like that. And it's nice and tight. It's a tight fit, so that way you don't feel these seams. And if you take a look, I'll, I'll lay down on here. Now, bear in mind, again, like I said, I'm six foot. But if you notice the Murphy bed, another complaint I get is, oh, well, you'll feel all the cracks. But all of your pressure points are either up top here or right where your butt is, and you'll see that that is a full section. You don't have a crack there. So, again, it, it's the same type of sleep you'll get in, you know, pretty much any other uh, RV out there, whether it's a standard bed or a Murphy bed like this. The only difference is you can't put a custom mattress in it. Then you'll also see right up top there, you have a couple LED lights, so you have some reading light at night. And on both sides, you have mirrored wardrobe with hanging space, so you have a spot to store your clothes. You also have the shelf up top here, and electrical outlets on the side in case you need to plug in any electronics, or if you sleep with a CPAP machine. Now that we've seen the insides, take a quick look at some of the outside features on the Coleman Light 1705RB. Right up front, you have your two 20-pound propane tanks with the cover. Super easy to access those tanks. Just undo these two thumb screws, lift up the door, and that gives you direct access to both those tanks. Right behind there, you see rails for your battery. And then coming up the front here, you kind of have this diamond embossed plating there. A little bit different look than the diamond plate you normally see. And I like it. I think it's nice and clean, and it still does the, it serves its purpose, which protects the RV from rocks and other debris that will get thrown up by your tow vehicle. You can see here, this one is a fiberglass unit. You have the fiberglass front as well as laminated sidewalls. But take a look at this right here, folks. This is a big deal. If you're just getting into RVing or maybe you're looking to upgrade, you'll see right here that Coleman stands behind their product with a three-year structural warranty. That is one of the best in the industry. So if you're looking for peace of mind behind what you're buying, that should definitely make you feel good right there. When you come around to the side, one of the things you'll notice is right here, you have solar prep. This is cool too. You're looking to do a little bit of boondocking. You don't have shore power, great. Buy some portable panels, plug them in right there, and it will trickle charge your battery. Right next to that is the pass-through storage. You can see inside there, see how nice and open it is. It's clean. You don't have plumbing running through. You don't have electrical wires. And take a look at the lighting. You have an LED light strip that runs the entire length. So that way you don't have just, you know, one light at either side. It lights up that whole compartment so you can see everything. Power awning here spans pretty much the entire length of the camper. Just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to go right back in. It does have an adjustable pitch. Uh, it's pretty low right now, but on each side you have a couple pins. You can push those pins in and that will allow you to move it to adjust it up or downs again so you can control uh, where you want that awning. And if you want one side lower than the other for water runoff, you can certainly do that as well. You'll also notice you have an LED light strip across the top. That way you have nice bright light here at night. You know, if you want to hang up your uh, hot chili peppers or Christmas lights or whatever else you have, you can certainly do that, but it's just a flip of a switch, you have light in any other circumstance. You'll also see that underneath that, you have a couple outside speakers. Those are controlled by that multimedia center I had showed you when we were inside. To get into the camper, you have your two foldable steps right here with a grab handle, so nice and simple to get in. Uh, you kind of have a window here as well, and now granted you can't really see in or out of it, but it does help let in some natural light. You know, a lot of manufacturers, especially in this size, will just have a solid door here because it's a little bit cheaper, but I like, you know, getting as much light into the coach as possible, so I do like the fact they put that in there. And again, there's another sticker showing that three-year warranty. 
Make our way back a little, uh, little further here, you do have nitrogen filled tires as well as easy lube axles. So for the maintenance side of things, you don't have to constantly repack the bearings. There's a grease dirt in there. Take a grease gun, pump some grease into it. Now you, you don't want to just you know, start pumping grease in like a madman. There is a process to it. You want to make sure you look that up because you have to jack the trailer up, spin the tires, do some other things. But uh, you know, on labor side of things, it is quite a bit easier. Right over here, you have an electrical outlet outside. So you need to plug stuff in. That's where you do it, folks, right there. Crock pot, cell phone, you know, whatever else you may want to plug in, that will be the place to do it. We come around to the back here. You'll see mounted on the bumper is your spare tire. The a nice thing about having it here is it's probably the easiest place you can get to it rather than having it underneath the RV. You know, here again, it's really simple. It does take up some realty, you know, on your bumper, but in my opinion, it's definitely worth it. And you'll also notice you have the cover on here so that way it stays in good shape. Hopefully, folks, you never have to use a spare tire. It's just back here to make you feel good. But in the event that you do, again, this one is easy access. Right up top there, you see this one also has backup camera prep. So, uh, you know, if you want a backup camera, it's a lot easier to have it installed. It's essentially a plug and play, which means that it will save you on the labor side. So it's a lot cheaper to have it installed when it's already prepped like this. We come around to the off door side, a couple quick things. Well, you do have your power uh, cord on the back there, 30 amp power cord. City water inlet is right here. Right next to that is your water heater there. Down below your termination, you'll see both your gray and black valves are located there. Cable inlet right over on this side. This is the back of our fridge, the back of the furnace here. And then your fresh water inlet is right here. So this one is gravity fill. If you're going somewhere you don't have city water hookup, that's what you want to put your water in to fill up your fresh water tank. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Coleman Light 1705 RB. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.